Yo, my name is Benjamin, and this is Text Effect. So let's have a look at how these work. Let's create a sequence of messages using appear effects and text effects. I'll select this row and I'll first add a standard appear effect. I'll give it an offset Y of 20 pixels and I'll set the damping to 25. Now let's select the text within, head over to the effects panel and select text. This is our brand new text effect panel. On top, a preview that we can click to replay the animation. Below the preview, we have our effect triggers on appear, layer in view and section in view. We'll keep it on appear. Like many effects in Framer, text effects come with a set of nice presets, showing you different combinations of properties to create unique effects. For every text layer, you can decide to animate each character, each word, each line in a paragraph, or each unique element, like a heading versus a paragraph. For our first message, let's animate each line. I'll also add a small delay to let part of the appear animation play out first. Then let's customize the effect. Here we can fine tune all sorts of properties from scale to blur and we even get a nice inline preview as well. So we can play with some properties. I'll set blur and offset Y to 5 pixels each and then we can have a look at the transition. Although I think everything looks okay here. Then we can look at the preview again and finally let's preview the entire page. Cool, so we have our first message bubble and using this recipe, we can create an entire sequence. For these other messages, all I did was add some delays to the appear and text effects, as well as customize each individual text effect. And all combined, we can use the new text effect feature to design these animated sequences. Now maybe we're designing a mobile version too, where the messages appear below the fold. This means we can't use the appear trigger and instead we can try one of the other triggers. I'll first select our row and convert this appear effect to a scroll animation by selecting layer in view. Now we can select our text layer and do the same thing for our text effect. And I already went ahead and did this for all other messages as well, setting the trigger to layer in view instead of appear. And just like that, we've created a mobile version where each message animates into view as we scroll past it. And that's pretty much it for this video. We're super excited about text effects and all the unique animations it unlocks. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.